Did you know that Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie, two of the inventors of bebop, were actually opera fans? It's well known that Charlie Parker was really into classical music and that Dizzy Gillespie famously predicted that their music, bebop and jazz, would be the classical music of the future. They would also quote well-known classical melodies during their improvised solos. This month in the Better Sax studio, we're working on the tune What Is This Thing Called Love by Cole Porter. Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie played this tune a lot, and if you listen to the recordings that they made, you'll hear them often quote this aria from George Bizet's Carmen called The Habanera. What is this thing called love has become a jazz jam session staple, but there's also a well-known contrafact composed by Tad Dameron called Hot House. Here they are, and this Hello. is Charlie Parker and the famous Dizzy Gillespie. Contrafact is when you compose a new melody over an existing chord progression. This was one of Bird and Dizzy's favorite tunes to play, and they would often quote this operatic theme during their solos on Hot House as well. So let's learn this quote together and how it fits over the chords, and then you'll have a great piece of historic vocabulary to add into your own solos. I guarantee that you'll elicit some woos from your fellow musicians and audience members when you use this quote, just as Sean Jones did here in an Emmett's Place jam session. We're gonna call this the Carmen Lick, but I suppose we can also call it the Habanera Lick. It's probably the easiest quote you're ever gonna come across because it's just the chromatic scale going down from the root. All we have to do is work out the rhythm and which notes get repeated. Here's the lick. Notice that the third note gets played three times and all the other notes get played just once. Sometimes they would play this quote with a pickup note a fourth below like this. And sometimes they would play the rest of the phrase as well. This works over a minor one chord, but you can also play this over the five chord like Dizzy does here. Now, whenever I learn a piece of vocabulary like this, I like to take it through all 12 keys to get the technical side of it down. But if you really want to add something like this into your own improvisational vocabulary, a good way to do that is to create an etude out of it. I basically want to plug the lick in everywhere I can over an existing chord progression. So here's what I came up with. this etude over the chord changes to what is this thing called love. I plug the Carmen lick in over the five chords and the one chords and then we end each eight bar phrase with a bit of the original melody from the tune. This lick also works over major 251 like here on the bridge and it sounds really cool on the second half of the bridge when you sequence it down half a step. <laughs> This is just one small part of what Better Sack Studio members get assigned every month with new PDF downloads and MP3 backing tracks, as well as video lessons. So if you're interested in joining us and learning more about jazz improvisation, check the link below for more information and to see if we've got any spots available for you. Now, speaking of studying with me to learn jazz improvisation, I want to tell you about a really exciting event coming up the 11th and 12th of May of this year in Manchester in the United Kingdom. It's called the Better Sacks Level Up Weekend, and we're going to be having an amazing time with a great group of saxophone players getting better at playing saxophone and improvising 
over standard tunes like this one. The event is open to players of all levels, but we're gonna be separating people into different groups so that nobody's getting overwhelmed with stuff that's beyond their level and no one's having to go at a slower pace than what they want to study. There's gonna be workshops on improvisation, on ensemble playing. There's gonna be something to do at all times playing the saxophone. I'm going to be working with players at all levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced with the help of some other great saxophone teachers, including my good friend Jody Espina from Jody Jazz. He's coming over, especially for this event, to give a master class and also do custom mouthpiece fittings all throughout the weekend. On top of that, we're gonna have our own mini trade fair with instruments, mouthpieces, accessories for you to try out, provided by our good friends who love and support music and are sponsoring the Better Sax Level Up Weekend. Our good friends from Selma Paris are gonna be attending and showcasing their world-class instruments. Odyssey Music, the makers of the Travel Sax 2 are gonna be there and you can try out the Travel Sax 2. It's really cool. Jody Jazz, of course, is going to be present with their full selection of mouthpieces for you to try. Studio Bricks, who makes these amazing sound isolating booths for you to practice in at home, are going to be there and they're bringing a booth for you to try out. Our friends at sax.co.uk are going to be there and they'll be bringing all of the better sax instruments and gear for you to demo. And we're also supported by Marka, who makes amazing reeds as well as the better sax jazz cut reeds in France. Tom Play app that is amazing tool for practicing music, and J.J. Babbitt, who are the makers of the legendary Meyer and Autolink mouthpieces. Our friends at Groovy Rascal are also sponsoring, as well as providing some of the ensemble arrangements we're going to be playing throughout the weekend. We have special promo codes and discounts exclusively for attendees, as well as a jam session and VIP cocktail hour with some other prizes and goodies. It's going to be an all-out immersive saxophone retreat, and I can't wait to see those of you who can attend and work with you there. There's loads more details you can learn about. I put a link in the description, or you can just visit abworkshops.com. A big thank you to the Saxophone Orchestra of Manchester, and AB workshops who have done a tremendous amount of work putting this whole event together to make it an unforgettable and amazing experience for everybody involved. Now go watch this video next for another great improvisation lesson I'm sure you're going to love.